Hey guys, I've been busy at my computer here. I designed what I think is going to be an effective, cheap, easy to build rack and pinion for a cycle cart. And I know a lot of people have commented on how twitchy their cars are at speed because the steering is too quick. And this, uh, this will solve a couple of problems. Basically, this is a rack with attachment points for your rod ends, your tie rods. This is a pinion, and your steering column will go right through there. And it will be mounted with two bolts to your chassis. So it serves a couple of purposes. It's a lower end support for your steering column and slows the steering down from I guesstimated about one-fifth of a turn of the wheel with a go-kart type steering to this is approximately five-sixths of a turn of the wheel um, plus it's linear which you know that's getting into all kinds of other areas but trust me it's an advantage um, anyhow, I've been busy in the garage and I built this, so let's go take a look at it. Now there it is. Product of about, I don't know, five hours or so. Cutting, grinding, drilling, tapping, you name it. Um, right now, I've just got a 5 8 bolt stuck in there. That represents your steering column. This is your... Um, for your quick release, which obviously would go on the other end. We got bronze bushings, front and rear. Um, what I also did is to attach the pinion to the steering shaft. I drilled and tapped and put a set screw in. And it goes, it's a half inch long set screw, it goes about a quarter inch into the shaft. I drilled a quarter inch deep hole in the shaft. And the reason I did that is because the first thing is the pinion did not have a keyway, which for most people is a problem. Not a lot of guys have a brooch or an access to one to cut a keyway. And most guys aren't going to have the ability to cut a keyway in their steering shaft either. So this way, I mean, everybody's got drills and taps. You can drill a quarter inch hole in your shaft, screw that half inch set screw in tight, and it's one thing that I would definitely put on the list uh, for a nut and bolt check before going out and racing these things. But anyway, I'm just trying to think of ways to, to make it easy for the average guy. And this, I don't know, seems to work. I mean, <clears throat> fits the bill. Put the steering wheel on. Like I said, it's about five sixths of a turn lock to lock. I put Allen head bolts holding this piece on. That's where your rod end will attach. And that gives you a positive stop when it hits against the bracket. So you can't, there's no way that anything's going to happen to this. It goes to the end and that's it, it's done. So at high speed, when you're trying to go straight, you're going to have a lot slower steering than, than your go-kart style steering. And uh, looking forward to trying this out, although it's going to be a while because there's my cycle cart. <laughs> Got some work to do. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys out for today. One other thing uh, about this rack and pinion steering is, I think I mentioned it when I was showing the picture on the computer, it's also going to serve as the lower end mount for your steering column. Where, you know, guys build a bracket and they put a bushing in whatever. This is it. You build your bracket to go to bolt here, two inches on center, and it needs to be angled so that it's 90 degrees 
to the angle of your steering shaft or whatever angle that ends up being in your particular car. And then that's it. You're, you've got your mount for your steering shaft and a nice smooth rack and pinion.